And we are live. What is going on with everybody, man? It's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the Orange Dungeon, giving it to you real raw rugged. And got somebody on the other line. I'm going to let him introduce himself, man. Who we got? Yo, yo, it's Judah. What's the deal, y'all? Hey, man, how you doing today, man? Hey, I'm sorry, yo. Hey, you can hear me good? Perfect, perfect. All right, for sure. My connection is bugging for a second, but yeah, I'm solid, yo. It's a good day. It's looking like, you know, altercations yet. Yeah, weather nice. I'm breathing. We up. For the people who do not know who Judah is or what Judah does, can you inform them a little bit before we dive deep into this? You hear oh, you me? Said, like, me yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, you, oh, you, yeah, you explain it way better than I can. Yeah, my, yeah, my fault. <laughs> I'm weak. You good? Yeah, uh, I'm a musician. At the moment, I'm making a transfer from rapper to R and B, hip hop artist, whatever you want to call it. I sing now. Is the bottom line. But yeah, I'm just trying to portray my experience. To the best of my ability and relate to who I can through this music, yo, make an impact on the world. Now, usually I always do this, and uh, I, I say that I'll be a terrible nigga if I don't. But every time I interview somebody and they resemble another person, I have to let them know. Now, you don't resemble anybody to me, but you look like a nigga that like grew up doing like very mischievous things but was a very smart nigga like you like a nigga you like a nigga that'll rob a nigga they'd be like why you rob that nigga you know you too smart to be robbing niggas you be like i know <laughs> i don't know if that's actually what you grew up doing but you look like you was doing that so like growing up were you like the the smart nigga or the funny nigga like what how would you be categorized by like your peers or like people you went to school with or your teachers and stuff like that yeah, so you spot on, <laughs> but the thing with that is I was more so, I portrayed myself as the goofy nigga, like high school, all that class clown, whatever, but I for sure was always strategic in all my moves, and regardless if a nigga knew I was a smart nigga or not, that's for them to find out, like I moved how I moved, and I was never one to put myself in like too bad of a situation to where I'm gonna just fuck up my life but yeah I for sure had my days in the shenanigans let's say I feel that yeah I'm never not what you about to say (laughs) nah yeah nah I was gonna say it's it's, it's interesting because you say like you're very strategic and the way you moved or whatnot because I feel like a lot of young people they kind of move just recklessly, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's no really, it's no really objective into what they're doing. They just doing it just to do it. Are they doing it because they seen somebody else do it? You feel me? So the fact you say you're exactly. strategic, yeah. where did that strategicness come from, you think? Uh, for sure, it's a mix, honestly, because I had fairly, like, for the most part, like, my group of homies from a young nigga to now was like fairly the same and as a group as a collective we've always all had some type of common sense that was beyond the everyday person but aside from that i grew up in a household of women like my sister and my mom's my little brother too but like that's little bro and just off my mom's and my sister type giving me their mentality and their perspective on shit I really could compare that to everyday life, like everyday niggas, and then also my homies. So I had, I feel like I had a perfect balance in like just perceiving life. Like I really could tell right from wrong type shit. Bro, I grew up in a house with just me and my mother. And I don't know, man, I really enjoy like being around like women. You feel me? And like not even on some like, I'm trying to smash every girl trying to be around women that type of yeah, stuff. Just talk. like being around like the energy of women I honestly prefer over men. That's just me. I don't know how you feel about that, but energy uh, of women. Swear, man, I swear. I love it. I can rock with that for sure. Why why that's is true. that? Like what is it about women? Like low key bro, 
women, they be more real than these niggas. Like, you know, like on, when you really look at it, bro, they be more real than these niggas, bro. Uh, some shit like that shit's crazy because it's more i feel like it's more it's more loving i guess in a sense of like niggas gonna be like it's also love for bros and shit but we still gonna fuck around and like really keep it pee like you a bitch type shit like, <laughs> like i don't know like it's really some more truth like from women i guess like they gonna word it different and it could be the same perspective but we're gonna hear it different just because it's coming from a woman I also look at it, at least my, like, interactions with women and men, I feel like I could be myself more around women, just because, you know, men, a lot of niggas, they just be like, like, you might say something, man, nigga, but, nigga, what you, like, like, like nigga, you weird, you know, some, you know, some weird yeah. gay shit, it's like, alright, my nigga, you feel me, but when you around, like, yeah. a girl, I feel like, at least for me, I could be more myself without, like, I don't know, it's like, they're, like, more accepting, and they're not, like, uh, I don't know, like, you might say something to make a nigga insecure, but you say around a woman, they like, all right, cool. You feel me? Like, yeah, that's that's that's, that's normal shit. So exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just shit like that. Like, it's just <laughs> more accepting. Like, it's not really any commentary or nothing you got to worry about. That's a fact. That's that's a, that's a perfect way to word it. You don't have to worry about any commentary. Niggas like to love. Niggas love to put a little stupid two cents in. Like, I didn't ask you to put your stupid two cents into what <laughs> I just did. Like, oh. nigga. Try to get mine off real quick. Like, hold up. That's a fact. Um, and yeah, growing up in like L.A. or whatnot, I uh, like I was telling you because we like for the people watching, me and him had like a forty-minute conversation. Solid guy. Right? Before we before you we started, huh? My fault. You cut. You, you said you in who? Because you cut off for a second. Oh, you, you am I good now? You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I was just saying. Um, for the people listening right now, me and you had like a forty-minute conversation solid guy right here first of all so if you was willing to listen if you was like trying to debate do you want to listen to nigga music and you was like damn is this nigga a solid nigga or not a solid nigga he's a solid nigga that should sell you to listen to his music man i promise to you and you growing up in la we talked about that a little bit on the phone and i was saying that i went to la as well and when i went there it's such an interesting atmosphere at least where i was at it felt very like fake and facetious like everybody there had on like a mask almost so you growing up there, what is your experience in LA like? Do you agree with that? Do you know what I'm talking about, or is that just something that's normal to you? Yeah, I definitely agree with that, but it's not a hundred percent. Like I, I would say I'm a prime example, but just like my group of homies that were from the same area, they were on the same shit as me for the most part, as far as just being genuine. Like it's just realizing that it is too many people on the earth in general just on some facade yeah like hidden agenda type shit and that's not that's not the move like well, why move like that you know what i'm saying so i feel like yeah it's kind of good to see like a chunk of people on that because you can understand that it's not it like there's too many people on that and it's just not i don't know it's just not healthy Honestly, like, what do you gain from that? That's a fact, and I feel like... people understand that. And that's a fact, and I I feel like you got the people that will have the mask on or whatever. Like you said, you might need those people because if uh, you didn't see that, you wouldn't know how to deal with them people or how to really, like, uh, maneuver around them type of niggas or whatnot. And when you got people like you, I feel like uh, a pretty genuine nigga, when I listen to your music, it comes out like that. You feel me? Like, I feel like your music is very, like pure almost in a sense and just honest and it's, it's you you feel me like i feel like when i'm listening to you yeah. i'm listening to you i'm not listening to like you trying to be another nigga or are you trying to put on for niggas i feel like i'm listening to you you know like uh i feel like when you yeah. sing that really comes out like um there's no track titles for uh the the, the album at least listed so i have to sing what i'm talking about but the song with the you gotta know like that like that sound like that's just you you feel me like and that's really cool right there so yeah man um i appreciate that just want to let you know i appreciate that listening to that that you are being used not enough of that in my opinion yeah that's love i appreciate that i appreciate you understanding that yeah what's the name of that song by the way that's uh when you get home and uh, i put the single that's on 
like Spotify, all that, all platforms, but all the names for the, the album are in the description. Really? Like, yeah, all the tracks, so you could beat that. That's crazy. I got to go look at that right now. It's funny because I'm listening to this album like, damn. I read some track titles, so I'm like, damn, I gotta remember how this song go. I gotta sing it to this nigga. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this. Yeah, is... I'ma drop like each. I'ma drop each individual track too on all platforms soon. So really? That, yeah. Hey, That's man. on the way. I'm turned, man. I mean, just from the way it's, I, I kind of want to talk about this whole album. I'm not gonna lie, bro, because I feel like I gotta. I have an opinion on every song in this album, and I'm pretty sure it's backstories that I would love to get to. So if that's cool, can we just go through like some of the songs on the album? Yeah, yeah, let's go. So just the way it starts off with the with the yesterday, like the, that that sample right there, you feel me? That's very beautiful yes. to me. So, um, who produced that that that, that intro track? Uh, that's me. That's you. I did, yeah, I did all the tracks except for three. Using your bag. <laughs> using your bag, bro. You feel me? That's using nice. your bag, man. And then it goes to the track with Navy Blue. And as I've said on this channel plenty of times, Sage Navy Blue, possibly my favorite rapper right now, if not top two, top three in my like list right now. So anything I see him on, I'm hyped. And that's how I found you. He posted you on his page. I'm like, if Sage giving it a cosign, this nigga gotta be fired. You feel me? He ain't failed me yet. So I go listen to this song. He slid on the song. You slide on the song, beautiful song. That that's a great uh, little sample in the background with the <laughs> like that's hard. Uh, did you produce that as well? Yeah. Yes, sir. Can you please tell me about that song? Cause I feel like both you niggas was just like y'all were going on that song. That's a, that's a great song. I don't know if there's any backstory on that, but if it is, I'd love to hear. I mean, a little bit, but not really. Uh, as far as my inspiration, I. Straight up, 100%. Bro got a song on uh, Soul Golden. Mm -hmm. It's an album with him and Black Noise. Yeah, uh, The Chair. That shit is cracked to me. I got that shit on repeat <laughs> since it dropped. And so, just like the vibe from that and how it's like kind of just mainly keys and little, yeah. some type of ambient sounds. Like I got, I started looking for a sample like that. And then, yeah, so I'm going to pop some shit. And just off the feel of what he was talking about and how he felt in that song, I tried to portray my own, like, version of that, I yeah. guess. But not even, like, I'm trying to recreate the song. Like, just that feeling, you know. And, yeah, I sent it to bro just based off that. Like, I'm inspired by bro. He's probably going to slide on the shit. And yeah, he was fucking with it, sent me a verse within like two days or some shit. And I feel like with him specifically, feeling is like something really important. Like when I listen to his music, at least personally, I like I get a, a feeling, you feel me? Like I feel some type of way because like the the emotion that he evokes from himself and like the way it feels like he's just like bearing it all on the track, I could feel that, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you got into that bag as well where you put feeling all over that track you feel me and i thought it was pretty good and the sample brought out more feeling so that's just a it's a 10 out of 10 song for me you know i, I love that song a lot man it's a, it's a really good song. yeah that's plus yeah that's a knock for sure i appreciate that it's a good song um and then one of my other favorite songs uh like i said can't can't pull it up right now because i'm on like mobile and i don't know if you can even like pull up like the the the, the description on mobile right now but freaking yeah. uh the the song where you was like rest in peace to kobe that song is hard, bro. That that song literally sounds like you hopped in a time machine and went back to the 90s. Like, that song is insane to me. I don't know if you had, like, a 90s type of, like, inspiration for that, but everything from the beat to the way your voice sounded, you sounded like a goddamn 90s rapper. That, that song is crazy to me. Well, yeah, that's but I mean, nah, uh, I just, yeah, I didn't really have, like, an old school like type of approach or anything for yeah. it but yeah i could definitely i i understood like once it was over like mixing in and shit like that that was that i feel so i did re-record the verse to make it sound like more like strong i guess yeah but yeah this i don't know i guess it's really mainly the emotion behind that song though because that was definitely one of 
my favorite tracks, if not my favorite track on the project. And it's called 601 slash Hoop Dreams. And 601 is my homie, may he rest in peace. That was his number. Mm. And ever since the past, like, that's just a number we celebrate. Yeah. And uh, I stay seeing that number, especially since I started working on the project. I started seeing that shit, like, every day. So, like, I was just kind of, I don't know, I really was passionate about that song, just trying to portray, like, the feelings of, like, reminiscing, this nostalgia, because that shit is real necessary, especially in times like this, like, shit, it's a lot of, like, murder and shit going down, the wrong people dying, and it's like, where, you gotta remember the good times. That's, yeah, that's that song yeah. sound like reminiscing and like it just sounds very um throwbackish and like I said it sounds different from anything else on the album like so I could tell that was a special song for you because out of all the songs that song it sticks out to me in a good way it, it sticks out like this is a song that sounds nothing like the intro or the song with navy blue the last two it doesn't sound nothing like that it sounds like it's its own thing you feel me so you did your thing with that that's a really good song did you produce that? You should have, yes, sir. You was in your bag. Man. You was in your bag with your pretty deck. That beat is crazy, bro. What? That's nice. yeah. That sample in the back, that that sample is amazing, bro. I love that because it sounds like some escape TLC type shit. Like, that was crazy, bro. That beat is fire. I love that sample, bro. I love that sample, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that, yeah. Had to do it. <laughs> nah, that's definitely hard. And um, also, one of my favorite tracks is the last track. Because, like I said, when you get into your, like, rapping, singing type bag, hard, man. You feel me? So, I don't know if there's anything, uh, any, like, background on that last track. But that last track, you was super in your bag. I don't know what, I don't know what you was on, but you was wild on that song. That song was hard. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm not even, I'm not even trying to, like, be on no simp shit or nothing but like I'm gonna say inspiration for that is love 100% mm. cause this past I, I got a girl we've been dating like it's it's gonna be a year soon and I uh, like she my first solid girl mm. I'll say and uh, as far as being emotionally intact and aware like, she's really, I was in a fog at one point, like, prior to meeting her, and that was real crazy, like, I found myself, like, black and I, all type shit, like, on some wild shit, like, not even knowing where I was at, like, yo, I don't know what the fuck life is, but once I met Shorty, like, she really helped put shit in perspective for me, and just helped me arrange and understand thoughts I was already having type yeah. shit and I could really process everything better but yeah it was just one day like chilling with shorties like fuck it, I'm gonna write a song like about you type shit and yeah that was that hey that's I how mean, you that shit like 20 minutes that's how you know you in love man when you look at them like, write a song about your fine ass you know what I'm saying like, that's how you <laughs> that <laughs> That's hard, man. That song is like I said. I like um, I like the melodies you find. You feel me? Like the melodies on that song, it's like really cool. I mean, it was like that's hard to me. You feel me? Like I really went with that. So yeah, man. Like I said, bro, you're a super talented guy. And when I heard this, I was like, bro, let me listen to more, like more of his music, to make sure this just ain't like a one and done thing. And I'm like, nah, he did, he that nigga. You feel me? I'm like, he he really got some. So. I had to interview you, man, because you're really, really good at what you do, bro. So, I mean, I've been, I feel like I done said it about 30 million times, but I just want to reiterate for niggas who's watching, right? You're Bless, really dude. good. You feel me, man? Um, Bless, and even man. when you're rapping over other niggas' beats, like, um, damn, what's that one song? I wrote it down. Uh, the, the Keep a Watch, I think it's produced by uh, Axel, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. First of all, that beat, that, actually, that yeah. beat is crazy. And I appreciate yeah, y'all for letting that beat ride out for like five minutes after you start rapping because I'm like, yo, I could let this beat ride out for an hour and I would get tired of it. That beat is crazy. Yeah, bro, bro, it's crazy. Yeah, you should tap in with bro. Yeah, shout out to bro. 
But yeah, yeah, that's blessed. I gotta do it all the time. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> that beat is crazy, man. Um, shout out to him, man. And uh, like I said, I listen to like the rest of your stuff and whatnot. And yo, you you definitely are up to something. I really hope niggas watching this right now tap in and 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 listen to you because. I'm a fan, you feel me, so um, for whatever you got releasing next on, I'm there, you feel me, I'm, I'm right there, you feel me, so I'm uh, I'm waiting for it to come on streaming services, any, like, timetable, when it might drop on streaming services? Uh, I would say probably latest would probably be, like, first week of July okay. for my album, right? Yeah, your album. Yeah, yeah, I'll say like first week of July is probably latest. So like within these next three weeks, it should be up. Hey man, well, I'm, I'm tapped in. I don't want to keep it for too long. If you got anything else to say, uh, let it be known. Uh, yeah, I'm all good. Just appreciate you for tapping in with me, bro. Love, recognition, always appreciated. Hey man, for people watching, I appreciate you guys. Go tap in with my boy Judah. Until next time, I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate, players gonna play, and y'all holler at your boy.